Hi everyone, I wanted to make a video today about uh, APEC writing. Uh, APEC writing is a type of writing that uh, tailors your body paragraphs within a five paragraph essay so that they are very easily digestible and easy to understand. They're a, a great way to go about uh, writing in a way that is clear and concise. Um, it's the preferred method at uh, my high school and I hope that uh, this video is helpful to help you become a better user of the Apex style. Um, so you want to use it because it really is just a, a real easy way to, to, to write. It's also very formulaic. Uh, I know a lot of, of my my students don't, you know, they, they, they get lost in, in creative land and they write circuitous essays. Uh, if you use APEC, your, your writing will be on point and, and really stay to a point. And it's really easy to follow the formula. So what is the formula? So when you're writing a body paragraph, you're going to follow this formula right here. You're going to write a paragraph that's four or more sentences, uh, not less than four sentences. And every paragraph needs an assertion, proof, explanation, and connection. Some, some say the connection is optional, but for our purposes, let's say, have a connection. So what is an assertion? An assertion is a statement, uh, usually something that comes from your thesis. So if your thesis is, um, you know, APEC writing is really important because blank, blank, and blank, you're just going to pick one of them. So any statement, um, uh, Babe Ruth is the best player of all time, um, and then you're going to say why. Or you're going to say, uh, Michael Jordan is the best basketball player. And then you're going to say why. Then you're going to prove it. So how do you prove it? You're going to uh, list examples. You're going to find some, some actual real examples. Uh, Michael Jordan is the best because he won six championships. Babe Ruth is the best because he won X amount of batting championships and World Series. It doesn't really matter, just you need to have your you need to have your details here. This is where maybe a little research comes in. Then let's explain it. Okay. Um, why is it that Michael Jordan having six uh, six NBA championships is such a big deal? What does it mean to be an NBA champion? Uh, I believe um, I believe Bill Russell has more NBA championships, but most people think that Michael Jordan is the best player to ever play. Why is that? Uh, get into what that means to win six championships in the current era. Um, and then we're going to connect it. And the connection is kind of fun because the connection is essentially just restating the assertion. So uh, Babe Ruth is the best player is our assertion. Uh, our connection is, um, you know, uh, as you can see, Babe Ruth was a truly special player. Or, um, you know, Michael Jordan, because he was such an amazing champion, is the best player ever. We're essentially rehashing our assertion. It's very easy, very simple. So I've, I've got an example down here that I'll just read to you. I'm going to put me away. Here we go. So here's something a student wrote last week. This unit relates to today because both time periods show how speaking out can change your situation. I was teaching about the Reformation. Um, Martin Luther didn't think it was fair for the Catholic Church to be run the way it was, selling indulgences to pay for a huge cathedral. So here we have our assertion, okay, making a statement. Then here we have our proof with specific examples, such as selling indulgences and building a huge cathedral. It would have been even better maybe to say St. Peter's Cathedral. Now we're going to explain. In order to change that, he wrote the 95 Theses. We're still kind of on proof here. Today we do the same thing, like with same-sex marriage. Some thought that the government was wrong to make same-sex marriage illegal, so they spoke out and tried to reform it. Here we really have our explanation. Both situations involve people standing up for what they believe in to make a change. Okay, we've had all this proof. And then here is the kicker, the explanation. All this proof on its own means very little. The key is we really need to explain it. Okay? 
Um, Michael Jordan won all these rings. Michael Jordan scored all these points. Okay, great. Why does that mean that he is the best player of all time? Without an explanation, it goes unanswered, and we're just listing facts. And then here we've tied it up nicely. Because people today continue to speak their mind, the Reformation relates to today. So I hope this was a nice little uh, uh, explanation about APEC. And um, uh, if you have any questions for it, uh, hit me up in the comments. Thanks.